and it is kind of a magical thing. I mean, it, I think it's a pretty depauperate childhood that's spent without the opportunity um, to at least a few times catch fireflies. For the last few weeks of June and into July, the woods throughout North Carolina's mountains shimmer. Children gather, they reach, they capture and release our lightning bugs back to the sky. This is one of my favorite times of year because I get to sit in my backyard and hunt for fireflies. The Big Dipper fireflies that fly all across our state, lighting up the night sky, bringing the stars a little closer to the earth. I'm Eleanor Spicer Rice, and this is North Carolina, naturally. There are more than 40 species of fireflies that we know about in this state. Fireflies aren't flies, they're beetles. And they're special beetles because, um, along with a couple other groups of beetles, fireflies can produce light. And we call that ability bioluminescence. Clyde Swordson is a professor of entomology at North Carolina State University. And he's also a bit of a legend among people of this state. He's taught more than 10,000 students across our state, across the world, including me. This is a seeding chart from 2001. Look at me hopeful, filled, filled with promise. A8 Spicer. And then, <laughs> and in fireflies, the way it works is there's a chemical called luciferin, a chemical called luciferinase, that's the enzyme that activates it. And if you put luciferinase with luciferin in the presence of oxygen and an energy source, you get light. He's made some important discoveries about our crops and about our natural world. Fireflies in North Carolina are quite diverse. Um, North Carolina probably has one of the highest diversities in the country. We have different fireflies that live in different parts of the state and lots of them do really, really exceptional things. One of the exceptional things that some fireflies do is, is they synchronize their flashes. Tennessee and North Carolina have synchronous fireflies in the Great Smoky Mountains. In 2019, Clyde was teaching a pollinator workshop at Grandfather Mountain. As the sun set, he realized these preternatural beetles live there too. There were synchronous fireflies everywhere. It was spectacular just thrilled me to death. So I walked around, I probably saw that evening a couple thousand. That's a species that's called Photinus carolinus, which is the Carolina firefly. How cool is that? And in high populations, the Carolina fireflies, the males synchronize their flashes. When you see fireflies lighting up your summer sky, what you're actually seeing is a conversation. The females rest on the grass and the leaves below, watching the sky for the males above, hoping that they will see that flash pattern of the males from their own species. And they will keep blinking to each other until they meet and they have the date of a lifetime. These flash coordinators didn't just show up. They've always been there. We just weren't paying attention. Now we have new eyes to see the world. Now we can become a part of their dance. Fireflies start off as eggs and spend most of their lives as ground-bound grubs that look like armored tanks. They speak to each other with pure light. Each species has its own Morse code. Big Dipper fireflies, for example, blink dots and J's into the air. That's Photinus pyralis, which means the glowing fire one, which it's kind of redundant, but still kind of cool. Blue ghosts float their steady auras like tiny supernatural fairies. Blue ghost fireflies are another really cool critter we have up in the mountains. Um, so blue ghost fireflies are different because for one thing, they're tiny. They're only about that long. Unlike most other fireflies, the males keep their lights on for 35, 40 seconds, maybe sometimes over a minute while they're flying around over the forest floor. I lived in my house for 25 years before I knew I had ghost fireflies in my backyard, which is kind of embarrassing for an entomologist. Anyway, the cool thing about all this is, is we're pretty certain that this is a different species from the one that occurs in the mountains. It's, 
in all likelihood an undescribed species of uh, fireflies, which is really cool because what that tells everybody is, is there's still things to discover. Even though North Carolina has been studied by natural historians for 400 years, there's still cool things to discover. How is there still room in this world to discover these tremendous feats? We don't know exactly how many species we have, and like I said, there are almost certainly unidentified species of fireflies blinking around North Carolina. There is space for silence if we make it, space for wonder if we pay attention. Fireflies are important uh, components of natural ecosystems. They have ecological roles that are important. And so from an ecological perspective, they're just as important as anybody else is. Everybody's important in an ecosystem. Plus they have this magical ability to cause wonder in us. And I think that's why people should be concerned about them. To learn more about fireflies in North Carolina, read my story in the June 2025 issue of Our State Magazine, and consider becoming a subscriber to have the magazine delivered straight to your door. This video is sponsored by the Southern Environmental Law Center. Mm -hmm.